Hey guys, today we're going to be checking my engines have been having like a strange burning smell. So basically anytime I drive my car, doesn't matter how fast or how slow I've been going, there will always be smoke going into my cabin and smells like really crap oil and it is not pleasant. So we're going to open up um, this cover where the coil packs are and check out if there's any oil leaks on the valve cover gasket which goes along around here. So I did take out the first screw which is on the right here. I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a second one here and I did notice that it did have um, a tiny bit of oil on it which was a little strange. Um, this one doesn't seem like to have anything but yeah, let's crack this thing open. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh yeah, a little bit of oil on the bottom here. There's a little bit of oil like here. All around, I mean, that should be fairly normal. Um, the main thing I'm trying to look for is inside here. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. So the main thing that we need to check is, I think, these bolts here. So these ones are the same as these ones, which have a, a rubber O-ring around it. So yeah, kind of, I'm not sure what it does, but I guess it keeps the pressure in. Um, and I need to check my coil packs. Make sure no oil is going inside there, because if these aren't torqued down correctly, then that would explain all of the oil that's coming out and being burned. Um, some other places I would suggest, so in the back where the uh, cabin air filter is, um, there's um, a hard to reach bolt, which is this one. If you ever change your valve cover gasket, you gotta be careful of this bolt right here, because it's pretty hard to get to and hard to torque down at the right spec. So yeah, I'm going to take off the coil packs and see what's inside. I have removed all the coil packs and some things we can see is that there's oil on these bolts. There is also oil. It's just kind of spread out all over the place. Um, this did happen to me once. There's some leaking right there. Um, and... So, one way you can um, avoid this is by torquing your uh, bolts uh, to the correct spec. I think it's, I think it's like 10 pounds. I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, um, all I have to do is clean it up and put a little bit more, um, you can use valve cover gasket or silicone onto these bolts here, here there I think there's yeah, four in total um, and then re torque them back to spec and then that should be good taking this 10 mil out we have saw that um, the silicone base that we used last time was really not set to the heat that this thing created which made it um, very loose and um, clearly leaked out oil so what you would need is the um, gasket maker this is a I don't know something got from the store but um so you see here in 65 maybe 65 to 500 degrees so depending on how much power you're pushing realistically or how hot your car gets which this one doesn't get hotter than um, probably like 200 um, if it's a hot day um, but the silicone unless you have silicone that can um, uh, has enough strength to withhold that heat um, um, you shouldn't use it if anything you should have a gasket maker which is uh, stronger and um, um, will definitely keep the oil from spilling out 
So a uh, little bit of a closer look on one of these um, bolts when you take it off. You need to make sure the rubber washer uh, also comes off. So that's what happened here. It didn't come off. I was able to get the, um, uh, the actual bolt and the this other um, metal washer out. And uh, as you can see here, this is uh, covered in silicone, which I need to take off because I need to reuse this thing. Um, but inside here, it is just, uh, it's not as bad as the other ones, but it's still leaking a little bit of oil. Um, so yeah, just uh, don't use silicone. That's, that's the outcome of this. So far, all the uh, spark plugs are looking fine. No oil has been going down there. Um, next up is uh, to uh, um, clean all of these and the bolts, um, which I have already done. And um, to put in the, we'll clean these a little bit more because there's still a little bit of silicone left in here. And uh, to put in that gasket maker in there and then seal it all back put it back together. Now, go and so on the e39 2000 528 this one um, has the ground this one has the power and this one right here is regular there's nothing going on with this one then we need uh, where the heck is it oh, yes. 10 mil Screw it in there. Just like so. And once it kind of stops, you're going to have to just do a light torque. Not too much, because 10 pounds of torque is very, very little. And yes, that is basically it. Get all that in there. Put it in the last one. Attach all your coil packs in, and you should be good to go. Um, just, uh, you know, the, the oil will still burn a little bit. It will get all the last little bits and pieces left over. But, um, yeah, that should be it. I'll um, do a quick um, test tomorrow morning. Um, or not tomorrow morning, the next day after, actually, after it... Uh, Kind of set settles in and dries um, and we'll drive the car and then we'll see what happens there okie dokie so it is the next day um approximately the same time to been 24 hours and all these look pretty good and they should be pretty dry um so now all we gotta do is uh, take out the spark plugs Clean a little bit more because some oil is down there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see some oil down there. There's um, oil in, I think, five of the spark plugs. You will have to Alrighty, so here we go. This is what we got. Um, we do have oil on the spark plugs, and here's them all in order from uh, the one that's furthest. So the one on the end there to this one, which is this one, the one clo uh, closest to the cabin. Um, so yeah, they, they got. They got a little bit of oil on them. It's it's not horrible, but I mean at least uh 
I know 100% that that's what's happening, why my car is freaking burning like hell, you know. At least I know it wasn't like um, a leak somewhere on the uh, back side of the valve cover gasket. So that could be a thing. I just want to just put your hand back here and lap around. See if there's any oil dripping. Which it doesn't seem like there is. So yeah. Um, hopefully this will do it. Um, Got to clean the insides. Like I said before. We'll put everything back together. And then we'll start her up. Okay. So got everything back in place um not putting the cover on yet i'm uh, just gonna be testing this here it's a nice day outside and let's start her up uh, so some things i'm gonna be checking for is any other more leaks and make sure there's no check engine light now I got my ABS light on. Uh. Looks like everything's working right. Take, take a lot of air. I also did a custom exhaust in my car, which I did record some of it, but it is uh, right there. It sounds all right for a 528. Doing the real OG hoodlum stuff. But yeah, looks like this is running fairly well. One problem I did have. Um, one problem I did have when uh, my spark plugs weren't working well is that uh, when the oil would go in, right, it would fluctuate my idle. So after a while of me driving, it would be fine, but then, like, out of nowhere, you know, if I just first start the car up, it would just be normal, and then it would fluctuate the idle, and it was very annoying. Um, and uh, this could be the fix, but you can clearly hear it is doing that right now which I don't know if you guys know what that is let me know in the comments but it might get better over time oh I almost died right there so uh, yeah I have no idea what that could be well actually It wasn't getting get bit. It wasn't getting better at all. Oh, I guess this isn't gonna be the next thing to figure out. But yeah, this is basically it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching my video and um, tune back for some more car videos or whatnot. See y'all.